Hey everybody. Sometimes when you're a business owner, you gotta do what you gotta do. The wood for Granary Woodcrafts primarily comes from the uh, old buildings on our family farm. But as of the last blizzard, the uh, guy removing snow on the roads decided that uh, since nobody's living there, the road wasn't worth plowing. So until I get that resolved, gotta come up with uh, another supply of wood just in case I got a good project coming in. So have a pretty good haul today. Helped a uh, local fencing company get rid of some extra pallets that they had. So, and uh, for you folks out there that are thinking about uh, maybe starting a little side business doing uh, pallet wood, um, you know, I certainly won't discourage you. I won't discourage anybody from uh, trying to do something that's fun and make a little money off it. But uh, realize working with pallets, it ain't always easy. Um, pallet wood isn't just pallet wood. There's different types, different qualities. Um, this stuff in here, see uh, a lot of uh, three by three, four by four stock, uh, um, two by six type. Um, some of it's in really good shape, some of it not so much. Over here, you got more of what a lot of traditional pallets are. Uh, it's more uh, two by four frameworks and then uh, the uh, half inch wood on top. Um, you can do some amazing things with it, but uh, pallet builders, for some reason, believe that their stuff has to be nailed better in a lot of cases than the uh, carpenters who built your house. Uh, I had to break some of these down because they were too wide for the trailer. And, uh, well, it was uh, not uh, the easiest part of my day today. We'll just say that. So, and, uh, some of it, rather than preserve um, the uh, length of the uh, crossboards, I just said enough's enough and uh, got out my trusty friend from Ryobi here and uh, just made things a little bit shorter and a little bit easier to fit. So, all right, whatever you folks are doing today, I hope you're enjoying it. Whatever your dream's pursuing, keep going for it. I'll talk to you later.